freedom. Imprisonment. It's all an illusion. Hey guys, it's Nine coming back once again with another hero guide. And today we're going to be taking a look at Sigma. Sigma has been in the game for about roughly a year now. And while today he isn't as strong as on release Sigma, he's still a very dominant force in the meta and definitely a tank you should consider taking the time to pick up a master. While Sigma does have a shield, he still is an off tank and you want to be playing him like an off tank. This means some of your jobs will include peeling for your backline, denying the enemy flankers, and using your shield and abilities to help your main tank to mitigate team damage. Sigma is a slow moving tank with no movement cooldowns, making him a natural synergy with Orisa. Together, Sigma and Orisa can mitigate tons of raw damage by cycling through their shield cooldowns and can set up for massive damage combos with halt plus accretion, making them a great tank combo. Other tanks like Zarya, Winston or Roadhog simply don't have enough in their kit to synergize well with Sigma. But if your other tank refuses to play Orisa, then your best bet is asking them to play either Rhine or D.Va. One of the most important skills you can learn on Sigma is managing your shield uptime. Sigma has a 900 health barrier that once destroyed recharges at 120 barrier health per second, taking a total of 7.5 seconds to fully recharge. When playing with another shield tank such as Orisa or Reinhardt, be sure to communicate with your other tank to be cycling which of your shields is taking damage to maximize uptime. Often with Orisa, I'll let her set her shield first, then when that breaks, I'll place my Sigma shield up, giving my Orisa time to build another shield, and once she places her next shield, then I will recall mine to give it some time to recharge. Obviously, you won't always be able to cycle shields perfectly, making correct use of both shields at the same time is crucial for winning fights often. Because Sigma's shield is the most versatile, I like to ask my main tank to block the main bunk of frontline damage while I use my Sigma shield to cover off angles and high ground. If your team is getting pressured by a high ground Widowmaker or Ash, you can use your shield to force them to reposition and relieve some of their pressure. When not playing with another shield tank, you'll notice your shield goes down way faster. In these moments, it's important to be using your shift, kinetic grasp, for soaking up damage and giving your shield time to recharge and yourself time to reposition. Like I previously said, your shift is a great tool for taking damage once your shield is down, but it's also great at peeling for your team. Whenever there's a enemy flanker such as Tracer or Genji in your support's face, push forward into them with your shift. You'll be taking up any damage if they choose to keep shooting, and you'll be giving your support enough time to move away or get healed up. Your shift works similarly to a defense matrix, meaning yes, you can eat ultimates. So whenever you're sure the enemy has a Death Blossom, or Dragon Strike, or Blizzard, Try your best to save your shift to deny that enemy ultimate and save your entire team. And if you didn't already know, whatever damage is absorbed by your kinetic grasp, 60% of it will be transferred into temporary shields for Sigma. So don't be scared to move up aggressively once you've already absorbed a ton of damage. Your accretion is your primary form of CC. It does 70 direct damage, 12 to 40 splash damage, does a 0.8 second knockdown stun, and has a 10 second cooldown. Take into account that Accretion behaves pretty differently than any other projectile in the game, in the sense that it cannot be denied by the kinetic grasp of another Sigma, Defense Matrix, or a Genji Deflect. This is your best tool for controlling enemy flankers. A direct hit followed up with some hypersphere's will usually be enough to bring them down. Your accretion is a projectile, and like all projectiles, you'll need to practice learning its arc and speed to maximize its effective use. It's overall just a great CC tool to punish flankers and idiot Reinhardts who just keep charging in. Okay, let's talk about your ultimate, Gravitic Flux. Your Flux is a large CC ultimate that lifts enemy enemies caught in its range to slam them down for damage equal to 50% their max HP. Really important to keep in mind is that your Flux has a pretty long cast time, which makes you pretty vulnerable to CC such as sleep darts and flashbangs that will cancel your ultimate entirely. Once you've picked up a couple of enemies, be sure to quickly find cover to fall back behind to not expose yourself to enemy CC abilities. But if the enemy team doesn't have these CC abilities or you know they're on cooldown, use your spheres to try to get the enemies caught below 
50% of their health. Your best chance of getting eliminations from your flux is to quickly focus one or two targets while they're in the ear. If you try to damage everybody caught, chances are you won't get anyone below 50% and they won't die. So like I said, just try to focus on one or two targets at max. Try to get them low enough for elims, then call for your team to follow up and focus down the rest of the enemy team. Be sure to try to use your alt when the enemy team is pushing through tight areas where you can maximize the amount of people who get caught. A general tip when playing Sigma is to not forget that your primary fire shots can actually bounce off surfaces like Junkrat shots. Use this to your advantage by firing shots at angles that damage the enemy whilst keeping you out of the line of fire. And a really cool trick I recently discovered while watching the Overwatch League broadcast is that you can actually use your primary fire, your hyperspheres, to propel yourself to positions that you normally couldn't reach. Similar to how Zarya can use her right click to get to different high grounds. Try this out in a couple of custom games and practice using your spheres plus a jump at the end to propel yourself to these cool angles. Okay guys, that was my Sigma guide. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something of value. Be sure to comment what heroes you guys want next. I'm open to hearing anything that isn't Moira. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more content and guides just like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one.